In this video, I would like to explain the linear cipher or a fine cipher. In a cryptography, we have a plain text and we convert that into a cipher text using a key. And the encoded cipher text will, can be decoded as a plain text, as an original message, using another key. The basic terminology used in this video are plain text, which is the original message, cipher text, which is the coded message, cipher, which is an algorithm for transforming plain text to cipher text or cipher text to plain text. The key is the information used in cipher known only by the sender or the receiver. The N cipher or encrypt is a process converting plain text to cipher text. Decrypt or decipher is the process recovering cipher text from plain text. The cryptography is a study of encryption principles method. The crypto analysis or code breaking is a study of principles or study of methods of deciphering ciphertext without knowing key. The cryptology is a field of both cryptography and crypto analysis. So this is the method five, which is called the linear cipher or affine cipher. I have already created videos on the various methods. Method one was our Julius Caesar um, cipher. Method two is mono alphabetic cipher. Number three was polyalphabetic. And number four was Blaze method. Now to encode, let's take C, the crypto um, encrypted message. C will be a times the plain text plus B, but GCD of A 20, 26 is 1. To decode, to get the plain text from the cipher text, it is A inverse C minus B mod 26. If we solve that congruence equation, we get T equal to A inverse of C minus B. So this A inverse is an inverse of A, and uh, we know that if since A inverse is the inverse, this A inverse times A must be equal to 1 mod 26. Let us prepare the inverses A inverse of A using this uh, congruence equation. A inverse A is congruent to 1 mod 26. We know that these uh, num letters are represented by the numerals from 0 to 25. And we would like to have the inverses for those numbers. So if A is taken from say 1 through 25, the inverses of these numbers can be obtained. For some numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8 and all that, we don't have any inverses. But for 1, 1 is the inverse, 3, 9 is the inverse, and 5, 21 is the inverse, etc. For 25, 25 itself is the inverse. So if C, the cipher text, is congruent to 5 times the plain text P plus 11 mod 26. And if you are in, interested in encrypting, the message number theory is easy. Let's use P values. The, P, uh, the plain text, that is the numerals for number theory is easy. Those alphabets in number theory will, uh, is easy will be those numbers 13, 20, 12, etc. Now using that congruence equation 5p plus 11, we can find the value for c, 5 times 13 plus 11, 5 times 20 plus 11, etc. So those are the numbers given in the third row. You can convert that into a modular arithmetic mod 26. So 76 is the same as 24 mod 26. 111 is 7 mod 26, etc. Then the corresponding letters of these numbers can be taken and that would be the encrypted message for number theory is easy. Now to decrypt, let us take another example. Let's take C equal to 3P plus 7. So if C is 3P plus 7 to solve for P, 
we need to multiply by the inverse of 3, which is 3 inverse. So P would be 3 inverse of C minus 7, but we know that the C inverse is 9 from the previous list what we have calculated, because 9 times 3 is 27, which is congruent to 1 mod 26. So 3 is the inverse of 9 and 9 is the inverse of 3. So 3 inverse is 9 here. So let's make use of the last congruence equation, P congruent to 9C minus 7. We are going to decrypt this message. So using the numerals, we can write down the value for P and the C values are there. So you can get the value for um, P from this and using modular arithmetic we can find the ultimate result, the plain text value it says modern algebra is better. So modern algebra is better is the answer for this question. So this video helped us to understand the linear cryptography or affine method in cryptography. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.